So today's version of the NCAT CAD, CAD Geek blog post uh, inventor version is going to be continued on uh, design accelerators. So we're still in our assembly here of our blower assembly. And what we're going to do today is look at some other um, aspects of the design accelerator. So we touched on both the connection, some shafts, um, V-belt design, and I mentioned in there that you can store the... Uh, actual calculations uh, in your designs which is a very powerful tool in the design accelerators so one other thing that we're going to uh, take a look at today is actually um, using design accelerators to do some calculations so you can see I have a bolted connection here and what we're going to do is actually take a look at uh, perform some calculations on this guy here so um, Right now, uh, it's just a check calculation. So if I just had um, the tangent forces on here of the two plates and just entered a value of, say, uh, 300 or 320 or whatever the case may be, um, I could go ahead and do a calculate. And you can see that, uh, you know, I have a uh, design failure um, through my, for my thread size. Now, there's a couple of different ways I can go and use the um, uh, calculation, the bolted connection, to um, make my design compliant. Um, I could actually go into the bolt material, um, and then this way it'll update um, based on my inputs um, materials that I would need. Or I can do it a couple of other ways as well. I can do number of bolts. So if I known in this case that I had a, a certain amount of um, tangent force, um, right now I only have one bolt, but if I hit calculate, um, you can see that it'll update and give me the number of bolts that I would need in order to be in, uh, in compliance with this amount of um, force. Uh, I could also go ahead and do, um, which I think is a neat one, is the bolt diameter design. So I'll go ahead and switch this back to 1, and then if with this amount of force, uh, what it's going to do is actually go ahead and uh, size uh, my bolt um, based on that calculation. So um, it's actually in the background, going ahead and uh, calculating that. Uh, it says it's compliant, and now if I go ahead and take a look at this guy, um, you'll see that it's giving me a preview. It's larger. It's actually gone ahead and um, uh, sized that bolt that's um, correct uh, to the size um, based on uh, the inputs that I had in my calculation. Uh, and I could go ahead and hit OK, and it's going to update that bolt based on that. So, um, you know, very powerful tools in the component generators and the design accelerators. Uh, and again, use it using it to uh, uh, create your designs uh, as well as create the components for you automatically. So uh, we'll continue on this subject uh, again next week. And I got a couple more on uh, calculations and um, what these little lightning bolt symbols mean here. So stay tuned and happy Tuesday.